the TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today I'm using these purple and gold swirl glitter dice that were sent in by a viewer. Thanks. Let's kick it off with our roll for bread. Two, gluten-free white bread. I picked up this gluten-free white bread from Trader Joe's and gave it a very light toast because it was frozen. What? Sir, that's not bread, that's a crouton. And gave it a very light toast because it was frozen. It is rather small. We'll see how that's it a, goes. That's a crouton. Next up, let's roll for main. Seven, buffalo burger. Got my buffalo burger oh. sizzling in my pan. Wait, get it what is that? Over. And let's roll for cheese while it's cooking to see if we can get something to melt on it. All right, here's our cheese roll. Four, provolone. All right, we'll get a couple slices of provolone on here. I think the smoked flavor will go great with the burger. Add some water to our pan. Put the lid back on and let the steam melt the cheese. All right, and here is our beautiful cheesy buffalo burger. It's a little bit bigger than our bread is, but that's okay. So far, that I think we're looking looks pretty good. Fire! Next up, let's roll for our roughage. We've got seven tomato and eleven none. Well, I am oh my a God. tomato on burgers person. It so is cooking. This is welcome. This will be great. All right, let's hit it with some wild magic. 17 potato chips. Oh my! All right. Add some Holy sh! It is cooking! Salt and vinegar chips. Detroit represent. I think these will pair great flavor wise and add a little bit more interest than just a plain burger. Come on, land it. Land it. After last, last week, he least, deserves it. Land it. Sauce roll. 14 Ponzu. All right, not necessarily uh, what I would have picked. Okay, but like, I don't you know, think it'll it, taste a little, bad. little boom, 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 is on the way off the ground. It's fine. Soy sauce with Still citrus landed. added to it. Didn't and crash both and of those burn. Things I think will pair well with the tomato and the salt and vinegar chips. Let's get our sandwich closed up here. Yep, I wish the, the, the bread was get a little bit bigger than a crouton. Together. Probably be okay. And let's go ahead and get it cut in half. Let's take a look at that cross section. Oh, that looks right. fire. Looks good to me. Well, after the gastronomic disaster that was Friday, I'm glad to have something a little more normal. Let's taste it. Yeah, okay, this is nice. I was worried it might be dry with only the addition of ponzu as a sauce, but the burger is very juicy and the tomato helps with that as well. Pretty much everything we added to this kind of melds together into this nice acidic accompaniment to the meat. But this one's up there for sure. I'm gonna give it a 9.5, and I'm gonna call it the Home on the Range Burger. Just a heads up, this never had a buffalo sandwich is going to end abruptly and without warning when my wife and I have our new baby. That's it for today. Aww. Hey, have a good one. Oh, that's kind of cute. <sighs> I'm surprised that wasn't a 10. I think it was because the the sauce. The sauce could have been better. If the sauce was better, would have been an easy 10. But the sauce is, you know, I ain't gonna lie, that looks fire. That looks so good. Where do you? Where does one get a buffalo burger? Like, real talk. Like, I feel like I can't walk into Stop and Shop and be like, hey, yo, I get a buffalo burger? And be like, what the, f what the f are you talking about? Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome <sighs> to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Retro, did you say I know North Dakota had some? Retro, I'm not going to North Dakota. There's probably more buffalo there than people. Today's episode of Roll for Sandwich is sponsored by Thunder Bay Press. They've recently released a couple D&D-themed activity books, including this sticker puzzle book featuring creatures and lore from D&D, &D, and this yeah, word go to North coloring Dakota. book. These are great for those just starting out in the hobby to learn about the different I don't even go to the gas station down the street, and this guy's like, go to North, North Dakota. And are fun for seasoned players, too. Check the link in my bio to snag your own. All right, let's kick it off by rolling for bread. One, strawberry swirl. Ooh, okay. All right, the strawberry bread is back. I kind of okay like, the, I kinda like we'll the way that looks, though. Today. I feel like I'd like Next it. Next up, let's roll for Maine. Four leftovers. A little light on leftovers today. All I have are these French fries. <laughs> I tried something a little bit different today. I tried basically <laughs> refrying them to see if it would refresh them. And they turned out okay. All right, I guess. Just going to pat off some of the grease and get them on my sandwich. French here. fries, okay. This will be the second time fries. You know what this looks like? This looks like the start of the I'm in college. I am broke. And I don't want to... Uh, find food. I don't want to go shopping. I don't have money to go shopping. What do I have in the fridge? We got some bread left over. We got some French fries in the fridge. They're gonna look for them some sauce, some kind of random sauce. 
Stoner meal? Oh yeah, and you're just high as a kite. Has it been on the show? And my second chip <sighs> buddy, as they say over in the UK. Let's roll for some cheese. Six blueberry goat cheese. Ooh, okay. It's blueberry vanilla goat cheese. And it oh, I've seen be this. To be on this strawberry bread, although I don't know about the French fries. I've never had it before. Though potatoes are pretty mild flavor wise. So Is it good? Maybe it'll be okay. Definitely an interesting one so far. Is that good? All right, let's roll roughage. We've got a two lettuce and seven tomato. All right, this roughage roll isn't too bad. Shouldn't clash too much with the Not bad. fruit that we've got going on so far. The lettuce won't add much flavor at all. And the tomato should blend goat fine. Goat cheese is disgusting. A little bit of a disgusting. Listen, I used to think goat cheese was disgusting too. Sometimes you just have a bad batch. Sometimes your taste buds mature over time. I used to hate it. I actually personally enjoy it now. Um, I don't have it very often, but I personally do enjoy it. Tanginess, which should pair well with the goat cheese. There are definitely much worse options we could have rolled for roughage. All right, next up. What's the food people say? There's a food people say that like you don't like most of your life, and then when you get old, I think oh, I think it's tomato. I think like if you grow up and you hate tomatoes, like when you turn around thirty, for some reason you like tomatoes now. I'm hitting that point. I've hated tomatoes my whole life. I was like literally scarred, like mentally scarred from, from tomatoes. For some reason recently, I've kind of like not, I kind of like don't hate them anymore. I like, it's on a burger. I'll actually, I'm like, all right, all right, it's fine. It's not that bad. I feel like in like three or four years from now, I'm gonna be like, oh, I want tomatoes on my burgers. What's up? Let's hit it with some wild magic. 17 potato chips again, or as they call them across the pond, crisps. Although, in this case, we have both chips and chips on the sandwich. Last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. No, uh, what? <laughs> One. Ketchup. Well, I guess... It really is the stoner sandwich! The best case wait, scenario for ketchup, wait, because we Wait, wait, you're throwing, bro! I know, I know, I know it's like, you know, you're making an order. But flip the sandwich over and put them on the french fries, and you're good to go! Put them on the french fries, good to go! The french fries on here, and that's like the most palatable I've ever found ketchup. Get our toothpicks in here to hold it together. Now let's cut it in half. Now let's take a look at that cross section. That is a strange one. Vegetarian, potatoes two ways, lots of fruit. I don't know, let's give it a taste. Interesting, you know, this is not that bad. The ketchup actually, in this case, pulls it away from being so sweet. Just goes to show the dice can always surprise you. I'm gonna give this one an 8.2, and I'm gonna call it Two Chips, Two Fruitiness. Hope you're having a great week so far, and I'll see you on Friday. You'd be surprised. It's I'm actually not surprised by that at all. It's one of those random, you just pull shit out of the fridge, throw it together, because you didn't, you didn't have any food in the house, or you didn't feel like shopping, or you're broke as shit. You just throw everything into a sandwich, or just make something random. That is what happens. Sometimes it ends up kind of good. Hello? Kind of good. D TikTok. Good afternoon, D&D TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today we're going to be using these apple dice that were sent in by a viewer. Thanks. First up, let's roll for bread. Four freezer ends. Ooh. Got a couple of slices of Italian bread for my freezer ends today. Toast oh. it up and ready to go. Let's roll for our main. it was main. actually ends of bread. Eight ham. All right, it's been a little bit since we've gotten Wait, ham. It is ends. Isn't Off it? to a pretty good start. Next like up, ham. let's roll for cheese. Three feta. <gasps> this feta I have is pretty low moisture. Wait. So I wanted to see if yes, feta. Wait, they sell feta blocks. My Norwegian cheese. Oh, yes, they do. I've never had a feta block. Why have I not better bought a feta block before? I always buy it crumbled. Holy! Shit, I could get a block of feta. I'll do it later. Cheese slicer worked okay with it. Gave me these nice thin little flakes rather than big crumbles that might fall off the sandwich. Not bad. Next up, let's roll for roughage. That's five cucumber and eight olives. With the addition Ooh, of the, the cucumber, olives. as well as the feta, this sandwich is starting to give me some Greek vibes. The cool crunch of the cucumber will be a nice counterpoint to the salty meat and cheese. We're gonna fully lean into those Greek vibes as much as we can here by using Kalamata olives. And they'll be right at home with that feta and cucumber. So far, we've got a really nice, cohesive sandwich. I've never had we've those. we've still got a few steps to get through. I don't know what those are. All right, let's hit it with some wild magic. 
16, Pork Floss. Well, if you've Ooh. yet to catch an episode that's featured pork floss, it is a jerky-like product made by cooking down and then dehydrating pork until it becomes a shelf-stable jerky with an almost cotton candy-like texture. It's salty and just ever so sweet, and I think it should pair just fine here. It's a bit of a curveball, but not one that should ruin our day. Last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. Let's go. 13, red pepper jelly. This red mm. pepper jelly is slightly sweet and savory. Wait, that looks fire, though. And definitely works pretty well with meats like ham. It's also got this really beautiful color. Definitely not the worst thing we could have rolled. Let's go ahead. Got that on the list. Okay, sorry. And get our sandwich put together here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together. Let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. All right. Well, here we are closing out another week of RFS, and I've got pretty high hopes for this one. It's got to be fire, right? Taste. All right, yeah. This one is pretty much as expected. The pork floss makes it a little dry. I would have hoped for a different sauce to kind of help with that. But the flavors are nice. Nothing groundbreaking here, but it's not a bad sandwich. And we definitely had a lot of cohesion going on between the olives and the cucumber and the feta. It's a pretty good sandwich. I'm going to give it a 7.1, and I'm going to call it Adonis's Boar. I'm at Confusion and no The Michigan pork floss weekend, definitely lowered it. forward to meeting and talking with some of you. Everyone else, have a great weekend. The pork floss definitely lowered it, but I'm not going to lie. I have learned many things from this one episode alone. Fishblade TikTok. Good afternoon, Fishblade TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Listen, some of you guys might think that this is, you know, I enjoy this because, you know, I like watching the cool sandwiches and and watch him eat like something that's uh, like just absolutely disgusting or something that's good. No, I, I enjoy watching this because I learn about new shit that I've never tried before that I immediately open my phone and order just because. Oh. Today I'm using these black and gold flaked dice that were sent in by a viewer. Thank you. Let's start it off with our roll for bread. Three, pumpernickel. This is what American grocery stores call pumpernickel bread. So don't blame me. Yeah. Next up, let's roll for our main. Three, roast beef. That is what it's I think a little of while pumpernickel bread is. Roast beef, so. so I'm not sad to see it here today. I guess it's something and different. I think it pairs well with this nice dark rye. So far, we're two for two. Next. You know what? I haven't had roast beef in a while. I'm getting roast beef. I'm putting it on my list. This is just, congrats. You just come to watch me order groceries today. I hope you enjoy. <sighs> Next up, let's roll for cheese. Five, Swiss. This is... I haven't had Swiss cheese in a bit, actually. I'm putting Swiss cheese on that as well. Hold on. What American grocery stores call Swiss cheese. So don't blame me. All right, let's roll for roughage. That's five cucumber and seven tomato. Oh, it's well, cooking. the only tomato I have left is one that I started yesterday. I only have two slices of it left. So that's what we're going with. So far, we have a really, really normal sandwich. Cucumber may be the strangest thing so far, which is very mild. Is it really Monday? Well, let's hit it with some wild magic. Oh, why did you say that? 13, Sichuan peppercorn. All right, well, it has ceased to be a normal sandwich. Sichuan peppercorn is a spice that comes from the Chinese prickly ash, and it's not really pepper at all. It's actually closer to a citrus, and you can taste that. And on top of that, it kind of numbs your tongue, which is a very interesting experience. I personally love it, and so I really like to load this stuff on when I get it. No, they don't. Wait, they don't have it. Damn. Sag. Okay. Well, it has ceased to be a normal <sighs> sandwich. Sichuan peppercorn is a spice that comes not really pepper at all. It's actually closer to a citrus, and you can taste that. And on top of that, it kind right, of numbs uh, your tongue, school. which is a very... Wait, you once had Sichuan flower bud at cooking school, and your entire mouth was...
dumb. I mean, I think you mean numb and on fire for a solid hour. Interesting experience. Yeah, man, I, I wanted to, I wanted to feel what that was it. like. And so I really like to load this stuff on when I get it. All right, and last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. Give me whipped cream. 12, barbecue sauce. Okay, that's I'm a big fan of barbecue sauces that are more on the vinegary side than the sweet side. And so I... I had never knew that liquid barbecue sauce was a thing. Okay, sorry. Liquid meaning like water barbecue sauce was a thing until I started watching these. Really become a fan of this Tom's barbecue sauce from Florida. It's thinner than some barbecue sauces, so some of it's probably gonna run off the sandwich, but that's okay. Let's get it put together here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together. And let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. All right. The chaos has been quite mild today for a Monday. I will enjoy it while it lasts. Let's taste it. Oh yeah, nothing wrong here. The rye yep. and the Swiss pair great and really complement the earthiness of the roast beef. Oh yeah, my tongue's already starting to go numb. But that bright citrusy flavor from the Szechuan peppercorn and the vinegary barbecue sauce is a good match. This is a pretty well-balanced sandwich. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 9.9. .9. And I'm gonna call it the Ooh. Comfortably Numb. That's it for this Monday edition of Roll I wonder what kept it from a 10 then. have a great day. See you later. What keeps it from a 10? A 9.9 .9 is a pretty, pretty close one.